It's my baby's second birthday and I am super excited. Who wouldn't be? Mm? Who wouldn't be, my love? You were two today. Right, girl? Mm? Are you excited? Mommy, look, your face is so teary. Your eyes are teary. Come. Let me clean your eyes, okay? It's okay, why? Is it what you ate? Mm, don't know. <laughs> you know what that means? It means, sorry, in Igbo. <laughs> Let's see your face, see if you're smiling. Yeah, I'll be smiling on, this morning. <laughs> this Igbo man is not serious <laughs> now. <laughs> Yeah. Mommy, it's your birthday. I'm so delighted. See her eyes are teary. You can join us in the spirit, okay? We'll be here. We'll be here. <laughs> oh, like I'm so excited. This little, little, little girl is still today. Mommy. Hello, girl. How are you? Are you happy, baby? Oh, I say bye. Wow, you are clapping. Good girl. I don't see you smiling. I'm not smiling, man. It's Treasure's birthday today. You have to smile. I've been smiling since morning. <laughs> You've been smiling been since morning. Wow. This is Rosani. I'm going to get you. And this is my sweetie, sweetie. Even though it's dark. Even though yeah. it's dark, we can see you. <laughs> Take a link, you I need rusty vine. How far? Good evening, sir. Hello, evening. Rusty. Yes, sir. <laughs> what would a woman do for you to keep her? Just tell us. Any kind of woman. Yes, again. What? Uh, English or Rusty? Because you know, uh, people who will watch this thing, some of them may not be. Let them them. go and translate it in. Yeah, the I understand. I, I did understand. not go to school. I understand. You went to school. Please don't give us that. How would a woman do? Give me the tips that a woman should do for you to keep her. See, it's a lie. We send Ma, you. We see, send let you. me tell you. Okay, tell us. I don't like speaking English. You know that I cannot speak. I, I don't like it. Please. I'm okay. an Igbo man. To I know. Why? That I is why I speak Igbo than that's any other language. I love my Nigerian man. I'm not man. a Igbo man. It concerns you. Now you did the talk to. It is okay. It is okay. So what I'm saying is this. Okay. You were asking me, and what, what, what was the question again? I said, what would a woman do for you to keep her? Uh, just uh, you know little, I mean? little good character. Just little. Okay, okay. Just give us three things that a woman would do and you never let her go. Number one, mm -hmm. truthful. Okay. If a woman is truthful, okay. we can stay, stay till eternity. Uh -huh. But if you lie, if you are a liar, uh. <laughs> so what you don't go walk with. It will. Yeah. Oh. Then, another one. Okay. If a woman is a big cook, oh. hey. all other one, I oh. can't forgive the other one. Ay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because man. I am not, I cannot oh. joke with my stomach. No, look, my fellow is a sign of good so, I know So many people have their own understanding of what they believe. Yes. But yes. me, one, that is true. being truthful, okay. and the other one, uh, know how to cook. All right, all right. If you right. don't know how to cook. Mm -hmm. <laughs> one Go and find another level. Though. Hey, I am right, I am right. So you want to give us one more? Just one more. You want me to add another thing? Just a little topping, you know, topping sense on it. Uh, I said uh, truthful. Truthful. Know how to know cook. How to cook. Yes. Then, the other one is uh, uh, what you can say, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get you. I get you. Because of uh, guys, you know what uh, he's talking about. Of security, I cannot, he's talking I about cannot, going to Jerusalem. Because I may say it now. No. I know. My organ in the room. Don't worry. Is that another thing? Nah, I know. It's all about Jerusalem. Yeah. I understand. It is okay. It is okay. <laughs> all right, Rusty. Just one more question. So yeah. you actually prefer 
maybe uh, women based on color like fairer ladies or darker ladies what do you think just like what i said before yes me i don't care about your color all right if you like you can mm -hmm. be red oh yellow wonderful purple wonderful black ah, yeah. blue or Equally any color yeku, yeku. it doesn't matter what for me mm -hmm. what is important is yes. your character Wonderful. Because I'm not marrying your color, I'm marrying yeah. your character. Okay. That is something that will remain forever. All right. Even if you are not beautiful. Okay. But you have good character. Oh yes. I can still go for that person. Oh, I know. Uh, yes. But if you are beautiful, like mm -hmm. uh, not, but you don't have good character. I Kalas. You don't have a place in my kingdom. So you can say homely. Something like that. Aiwa, thank you so much. Yes. Thank you so much for answering these questions. So this is Brosteneve. I'm not an Englishman. I'm an Igbo man. A typical Aye. Igbo. Uh, Brosteneve. Yeah. yeah this, so this is another brother. He's, he's a Yoruba brother. And his name is Anifo So Brosteneve, I just want to ask you a question. What would a woman, what would your Nigerian woman do for you to keep her? Just give me three things. I know you have a lot. Uh, first one, honest. Okay, okay. Respect. Yes. Let me get you properly. Trust. Yes. Yes. So I think I'm sure for Honest. Respect. Trust. Trust. Good character. Didn't you miss something very important to Nigerian men, if I may ask? Can you manage with a woman who doesn't know how to cook? How are you? Yeah, if you love her and okay. she has respect for you, okay. she's very honest, All right. she's straightforward. Okay. If you really love her, okay. that's what does mean you can give her training okay. and she will Oh, that's wonderful. Great yeah. to know that Nigerian men will go with a woman who doesn't know how to cook. That's wonderful. You can give her training. You're willing to give her the chance to, learn. chance to learn. That is great. Thank you so much for answering this question. Thank you so much. And this is Mr. Simon. August Simon, come on. <laughs> okay. Okay. So this is Mr. Simon. He's yes. a friend of mine. And I'm so lucky that we are gathered this evening because of Treasure's birthday. So I just wanted to use this opportunity to ask some few questions to my male friends, family friends around. So Mr. Simon, what would a woman do for you to keep her? Just three things that a woman would do for you to keep her. For me to keep her? Yes. As a friend? As a wife, no, or as, as a wife. wife, what would a woman do that you never let her go? That you just know that this is the wow. one. Uh, one. Okay. Uh, I will not forget where I'm coming from. Okay. I'm an Igbo man. I, I know, I know. Igbo men are so proud of themselves. And our people say. Okay. In Igbo language, na agwa woman wai. Okay. The character is the beauty of a woman. Wonderful. So, the only thing that will keep keep me, mm -hmm. or the only thing that will make me not let a woman go, okay, is a character. All right. That is the number right. one. Yeah. Okay, character. That's Angels. number one. And would you like to give us some of those characters, like three of them? Wow. You see, uh, when you talk of character, yes. It comprises of a lot of things. Okay, okay. Expand shape. But a woman that respects a man yes. is the number one woman in this very planet. Yeah. Any woman that respects her husband okay. is the number one woman okay. on this planet. Wow. Okay. So respect, number one for respect you. Okay, okay. See, when right. you respect your husband, okay, because uh, the way God made it, okay, is that uh, no matter how small okay. a man is, only thing that he demands from the wife mm -hmm. or from a woman, okay, is respect. Yes, and believe me, mm. if you are a woman, where you res give respect to your husband, yeah, the man will really treat you like a pain. Surely, I know how the yeah, evil men love to it. treat their wives so, like queens. I that know is, that. that. Is, it was for you. Okay, okay. All right. So, first of all, her character, and then respect. So, what's the third thing? What would it be? Is it related Meet. anyway to your tummy? 
or to something else. No, a lot of things. A woman really? that loves you. Okay. Takes good care of you. Okay. So, but what if this woman doesn't know how to cook? Will you put up with her? Will it be okay? See, Will it be cooking, fine? Are you willing to cook teach? It, cooking doesn't have anything to do with marriage. Okay. So long okay. as the woman is willing okay. to learn. So that is cooking is just something each and every one of us can learn anytime, anywhere, any moment. All right, all right, that's great. So, it's not really okay. a basic thing. Yes, yes. Do you prefer marrying a woman who knows how to cook okay. and in your house you are like you are in hellfire? Okay, no, what no. What would you prefer? So I prefer she doesn't know how to cook, you, but uh, yeah, she doesn't know how to cook. But yeah, yet, I get that call that joy, okay. happiness in my okay. home. Wow. And right. any other thing. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'll teach her. Okay. Even if I don't know how to cook, okay. I let someone else teach yeah. her. That's great. Wow. That is great. That is great. Really. That is great. It's good to know, Mr. Simon. That's so good. Thank you so much for answering these questions. So the first one is respect. Yes. The next one is she must have good character. good character. And the third one is it doesn't matter if she doesn't know how to matter, cook. But at least, you know, marrying a woman is not marrying a woman who is neat. Who is neat? Neat. Neatness. I've always talked say, about neatness. Neatness is very, very important. All right. Of course, yes. you don't mind to help your wife yes. sometimes, right? Why would I? Come on. Thank you. Well, see, according to Bible, yes. uh, biblically, we should know that uh, the woman will leave the house by the, uh, the father has okay. come to the husband and okay. they become one. Okay. And I don't want people, sometimes people don't understand this. Okay. That you marry the woman does not mean that she's your slave. Yeah, sure. That's very true. In those days, if you remember when you were young, yeah. the time of boyfriend, girlfriend of a thing. Okay. Sometimes you would want to please your girlfriend yes, by yes. organizing things for her, Hello. surprisingly. Yeah. Then why is it that, and you say you are showing her how much you love her. Yeah, sure. So why is like, it that you cannot do it to your own one. wife, the that's woman you married and kept in the house? Yeah, that's true. So, That's true. It's Thank not you. maybe <laughs> keep allowing the woman to do all housework. Come on, yeah, that's true. Gone Thank are those you. days that. Gone are those like days. That. That's what I want to hear because I know the Nigerian men of before, but now I understand times. But there's only one advice I want to give some ladies. All right, to you ladies. Okay. Because most of the times a man would want to show you love. Okay. By trying to help you. All right. In some of these things. Okay. You see, but sometimes you people would. Uh, try to take advantage of that. <laughs> we are women. That's but what I we know do. that is women. That's but, what we do. And sometimes, if a man sees that you are trying to take advantage, a man that loves you will just tell you, oh, baby, don't. Yeah, but yeah, if yeah. You sure. insist, you will see that man, he will turn around, he will stop doing all those I things. I know. I know. Some men will not tell you. Okay. Some will tell you. Yes. You get that? Yeah. So, Thank you. Okay, the final question. I don't want to take so much time. The final question is, someone once said to me that Nigerian men prefer white ladies or prefer fairer women. That is, if the fairer you are, the better for them. And uh, I don't, I don't know. I just want to get your opinion on this because I have my opinion. What's your opinion? Married, marriage, love knows nothing about color. Are you getting me? Yes, yes. Love knows nothing about color. And I remember English people, the Yibo people, they tell you that beauty lies in the eyes of the world. The older, yes. So it does not really matter the color. No, one thing about love, love is something that comes on its own. As soon as it sees it's okay, what it's okay. No, don't, no, don't. the heart desires, Rest it's fine. it clicks. You don't need any soothsayer yeah. to tell you that I'm in love with this person. Oh, wow, that's beautifully said. You don't need any pastor even yes. to tell you that I'm in love with this person. No matter how color. No matter what. Something that love is just like, it's something that comes from this world. It's natural. I've always said that, but I wish so people would understand. People, so we have different motives, different understanding. Yes. And most of the time people would like, oh, because this man said this. They, they always want to follow this. That yes. Try and assess that on yourself uh -huh. and know what it is all about entirely. Okay. So color for me, 
color has nothing to do with love. Thank you so much. So you would marry a white woman you love, a red woman you love, a green woman you love, a black woman you love. I told you it has no barriers. Thank you. Thank you. Someone argued with me on that and I told them Nigerian men see no color, but I just wanted to get from the horse's mouth. Not that you're a horse. Eh? <laughs> Not that you're a horse. Nigeria, you know Nigeria is a big place. Yes. So when they use the word Nigeria, it comprises of so many A lot. A lot. Thank you so much, Mr. Simon. It was an honor speaking to you. Thank you so much. By the way, you're still my friend, huh? <laughs> still the number one friend. Still the number one, the champion, according to what's his name? This guy. All right, let's go ahead. It is Brusty here again. Yes, yes. Okay, so Brusty. Brusty. Yeah. So I made a video recently and I talked about how uh, foreign women are pushing their Nigerian husbands into polygamy. And what I meant was like they get married, after all is done, they live their life abroad. After years, like that is something years, they have children and everything. When they decide to go back home, the the women don't go back with them. So only the man goes back home and stays lonely and dies lonely. What do you have to say about this, like to foreign women? Yeah. Have you heard about this case? Yeah, is it yeah. true? Yeah, it's is true. Is it a lie? It's true. What it's advice true. do you have for uh, foreign women? I not, not advice anyway. Okay. Uh, I have to say something. All that. right, say, say. See, uh, in that aspect, Okay. Uh, what I, I will say is, you know, this, uh, Foreigners. When I mean foreign, I don't mean okay. only the white people. I know all nationalities. People from other country. Okay. They don't like coming to some other people home. Yes. But I know our girls. Mm -hmm. When they marry somebody from outside our country, they will yeah. stay. They stay. They do. That is our culture. It is our culture. We have that understanding that when you marry, yes. You go and stay with your husband. That is very true. And, and I said that. When our women go out there okay. to marry, mm -hmm. they marry through love. And when, what I mean by true love is mm. this. Uh, what, what I mean by true love, you see, our, our guests leaving our family. Yes. Clicking to a new home, a new place they call home. Yes. And they will make it home. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, now, the other side of it, uh, okay. the side of our men. Okay. You know, most of these foreigners, Honey? they feel, Honey? they feel more superior. You understand? They okay. feel more superior. They believe they are more maybe. Yes. They are from advanced country. Okay. That they are this, they are that. Which because is wrong. Of what they believe they are, they have. Exactly. That is that, true. that makes them feel more superior than the, their um, uh, partner. So yes. By so, they don't feel like coming back home. I have seen so many white girls. Okay. A girl from UK. Yes. Leaving UK, going to South Sudan. Yes. To stay with the typical village people. Just imagine. To, to, because I know she loved that man. Yeah. So if you marry your I man, I saw that the person that you really too. love, yeah. you will go any length yeah. with him. You can stay with him. That is it. That is what I call marriage. That is love. So what, what, the, what these white people or white ladies or most people, foreigners, what, what, why I say foreigners? Because most people even in Africa, it's fine. Nobody do. They just want to have... What about yeah, children? They, that, they, they don't care about the children anymore. What they are after is what they cannot get from their other partners, maybe their countrymen. Can we use it as a, they want to get going to Jerusalem? Because I know that the uh, YouTube does censor some words yeah, okay, yeah, when it comes of, to that. Uh, yeah, of yeah, course. They, they don't love you. What they want is that you are Jerusalem. Okay. okay. But our men love, if I say like me, if I say I love you, I don't care your color. Yes. My I daughter. will take you as my wife, yes. not as my concubine. Yes. But what these other people are doing, they, they take their, our men as their concubine or yes. their Jerusalem mates, not real person that they will stay with. That is why you think they don't go that back home. That is why. That is just why which they don't want to go fair. home. Which is unfair. Yeah. 
And you know that is what made, that makes so many men to go extra mile in getting other wives at home. Because so this is the case. Oh, perfect. Okay. If uh, if case. other women, if other women we would like to stay with our our brothers, my dear. See, it's okay, it's okay. Our it's boys, okay. Are, our people are very good people. Yes. We, we know the meaning of marriage. Yes. It, they won't even look for another woman. Oh, yeah, I know. Uh, I've always said it that uh, Nigerian men, they know how to keep their yeah. family. We love, we love keeping our And what, do you, our what about family? Tell me a little bit about family. What do you think about Nigerians and family? I tell you, uh, Nigeria will have family. In other countries or Europe, they don't have. They have relatives <laughs> they don't have family i'm telling you i'm telling you the truth no because home we have cousins we have siblings so many of them and so many a generation maybe five six generations we still keep them we still keep them close. we want to be very close yeah if i'm, I'm, if, if I'm going it. home now i must buy something for my family member maybe even fifth, fifth if, if i want to marry i will let my people know that is it. Because I know I have a home. Exactly. Those I've people in the other, other side of the world, <laughs> they don't see it as something it, uh, good for really? them to. They don't even tell their parents. Oh, that's sad. That's not, sad. Not to talk of Thank their cousins and yeah. all that. It's really sad. Thank you so much, Rusty. I don't want to waste so much of your time. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you so much, Rusty. My ego brother. Thank you so much. Brother Nick, yeah. okay. I once talked about uh, something concerning Nigerian men that uh, the women, they do not uh, like to go back home. You understand? Why? And the foreign women, actually, when they get married to a Nigerian man, they do not like to go back home with him. And that's why you see that Nigerian men are actually now getting into unplanned polygamy. Meaning, they go back home, they marry another wife, just because, just because they do not go back home with them. What do you have to say about this? Is this true? Well, it's just vice versa. You know, it's 50-50. Okay. It's based on love. Okay. If the lady is a foreigner, yeah. and the guy is another, they met in abroad, yeah. you know, if the lady, yeah. love, Come. If the lady loves her, nothing bad in it that she will move down with her husband and her country. Many ladies, many white ladies, they move down with Nigeria. Not even now, like later, after yeah, the after years, after, after, after the everything, year, after children the, have grown. After the, after the, like listen, retirement. Listen, there is one thing I want you to know. Okay. Country, countries depend on the issue, like uh, country economy or the, the issue of the country yeah. the securities. Yeah. So you cannot stay in abroad where you are enjoy your life, you have a very good job, you are living a very good life. Okay. But you are enjoyed there, then you don't have it. Okay. That's your uh, husband country. Okay. So that is why many people just stay in abroad. Okay. In, uh, for the long time, they will not come back with their with their husband to their homeland. Okay. In but abroad. what about finally at the end? Finally, at the end, if the ladies love them, mm -hmm. and he, uh, I mean his husband, I mean her husband, told her that okay, let's relocate. Mm -hmm. My home country, and she doesn't finally. go. Mm -hmm. If she's really loving, then she will go. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Like at the end, when at all is end, done, they are, they and they need them. like after retirement, man after said, retirement, let's go. They supposed to have something back home that they will rely yes. on. Yes. Not that they will just come back home with empty hands. No. They have to put something here that okay, we are coming back to our own country finally. This is what we have. This is what we are going to do. We already give our children lives. And yes. Their education is very okay. Yeah. You know, the children can stay there, then the, uh, the father, the husband, and they can easily come Exactly, there. exactly. That's after good. Some time again, they can easily go back there, okay. spend some time, then come back to their own country. Okay. So, you know, you have to relocate all your children. So, what if the woman refuses to go? She wants to stay back in her country. It means they will split. Again. Okay, thank you so much, Rosani. Thank you. Nice video. Yeah. Okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, sorry, sorry. Again, Rosani. Uh, is it true that a Nigerian man prefers uh, his woman based on color? Because so someone was said to me that. Uh, Nigerian men preferred women based on their color, that the fairer the better. 
What do you have to say about this? You know, if Nigerian men prefer mm -hmm. their women based on color, mm -hmm. many men will fail in marriage. Oh, thank you. Okay. What you need from a woman, I said earlier. Okay. You understand? Respect. Okay. Good character. Okay. Good behaviors. Okay. Be humble. Okay. When you have respect for your husband, yeah. you honor him. Yeah. And you respect his family as well. Yeah. And so on around him. Okay. Believe me, the woman already won everything. Okay. So, so if man is going through colors, maybe he like white, uh, maybe yellow lady, or okay. he doesn't like a black lady. Uh -huh. Maybe eventually black lady come to his way. And the black lady have a very good character. Okay. Least, I don't see nothing bad in it. Okay. Can you okay. hear me now? Yes, I so can. I don't hear see you. something bad in it that you can easily go for it. Okay. But if you want based on color all the time, mm. it's capital sorry. The man all right. So it is it's not true then to say that Nigerian no. men prefer fairer ladies. No. You would go for a woman you love, whether you blue love, or red. Blue, black. <laughs> not about the beauty. Okay, the, the character. Thank you so much. Thank you for answering those questions. I really appreciate it. Thank you.